Alright people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, I said before in the card review on Wednesday we we're going to be looking at a Blackwing fake card, and uh, here it is. So, yay, more Blackwings. <laughs> you can't even tell the sarcasm in my voice. So yes, there are people still today still making fake cards for Blackwings. Blackwings are continue to get that, that support. It's, like I said, it's one of the most beloved archetypes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just, it's like, wow, so supported. So many fucking cards. So well. And just, wow. So, uh... This person decided to go ahead and make a level 12 Blackwing monster. Uh, this is, and let me quote this now, this is not the one that was in the anime, definitely. I mean, look at that image. Like, if that image doesn't look really familiar to you, then I guess you really weren't in Digimon then, were you? Because that is the image of one of my favorite Digimon. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, I guess he could probably pass for a Blackwing, but still, I mean, it's a little bit too obvious. But, um, it's a little bit more complicated to make than the one in the anime. I believe that one in the anime was just, you know... If anything, a Blackwing Tuner Synchro and a non-Tuner Blackwing Synchro Monster. Wow, this a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead and cop and and uh, cop. Hello, and jump right into it. Well, I don't even know what I was gonna say there. Tell you the truth, I, I really don't. This is Assault Blackwing, like all the new Blackwing monsters. Dres the Devastating Typhoon or Beals One. <laughs> uh, level twelve, Dark Wing Beast Synchro Effect Monster, thirty-five hundred attack, twenty-eight hundred defense. Uh, and materials are a little bit complicated. It's uh, one tuner Blackwing Synchro Monster and two or more non-tuner Synchro Monsters. So, uh, yeah, you know how when I did the card review and I talked about uh, how Sohaya could, uh, you can do some shenanigan plays and bust out a Quasar? Well, uh, you can also bust this out as well if you, you know, set it up correctly. So, uh, obviously your your tuner Blackwing Synchro Monster is probably going to be Sohaya combined with two are more non-tuner synchro monsters. So it's going to be a little complicated, but we'll see if it's worth it. While, on the other hand, you could make Quasar, so we're going to be comparing this to Quasar and determining, you know, which one is which, because whenever you have a, a level 12 that has the same uh, synchro requirements as Quasar, I mean, that's what you want to look at. You want to look and see, hmm, would I rather go into Quasar or this? So let's go ahead and, and see. So, uh, when this card is synchro summon, destroy all cards your... Destroy all cards your opponent's side of the field. I mean, you, you worked pretty hard for this. You worked fairly fucking hard to bust this out. So, as soon as he is Synchro Summoned, he's resolved his Synchro Summon. Of course, if you run into, like, a Solemn Strike or Solemn Warning, no, you didn't get Synchro Summoned. But as soon as you resolve that Synchro Summon, even if you get Bottomless or Compulsed, you're destroying all cards. That means their Pendulum Scale, their Back Row, their Monsters. Destroy all cards on your opponent's side of the field. Just your opponent's side of the field, like... Wow, like, uh, dude, catch this fucking Harpy's Feather Duster Regeki, alright? So, that, that's power, that's power. So, alright, alright, I can give you that. Not even Quasar freaking wipes the whole field. Alright, next effect. Each Blackwing monster you control cannot be destroyed by Battle by Card Effects once per turn. Uh, that reminds me of that, uh, that Stardust Quasar monster that kind of fell into obscurity. It really did. I mean, Quasar is not even made that often, but, you know, even that card, I compared it, and I was like, I'd rather make Quasar, and I must say, I see Quasar a lot more than I see that card. So, it has a similar effect. Uh, and the problem with that is that if I just wanted to protect all my cards from being destroyed, then wouldn't I just go into that Super Stardust Spark? You know, who I believe uh, protects all cards. Card, all cards in the field can't be destroyed by battle or by card effect uh, once per turn. This is just protect Blackwing cards. So what if I wanted to, you know, protect something that's not a Blackwing card? I get some shit out of luck, you know. So, it's not a terrible effect. It really does seem like you kind of just copy and pasted it from that, uh, that Super Stardust Park. I don't even remember its name. Like, see, I, you know, you know, Quasar. I mean, it's even got its name shortened. That's how, you know, popular and powered it is, but, powerful it is, but. I don't even remember. I'm just going to call him, I guess, Super Spark, I guess. <laughs> Alright, and uh, last effect. Uh, when this card leaves the field, you can special summon it from your... Uh, when this card leaves the field, you can special summon... Okay. From your graveyard, any of the Synchro Monsters used for the Synchro Summon of this card. Okay. So you pretty much get your materials back. That's actually a pretty good effect. Uh, uh, I don't remember what Super Spark summons. Of course, uh, of course, uh, Quasar summons that... Uh, that shooting star, which is power in itself, but this, you know, when it leaves the field, period, just period, um, even, you know, spin, cast out spin back air track, it will still go off, uh, go, in your graveyard, go ahead and, uh, summon the synchro materials that were used for this card, and, you know, you can go ahead and go into this again, if you have another copy, or a quasar, so, that's not too terrible, it's really not, so you gotta handle this the correct way, 
Well, once per turn, uh, the uh, all black monsters, including South Camp, are destroyed by battle by card effect. And it's, when it leaves the field, you get to go ahead and uh, summon the materials. Uh, just make a one one and eat it. <laughs> you know? Now, I didn't destroy you by battle by card effect. You technically didn't leave the... Well, you left the field, but you can't activate while you're in Exceed Materia. It doesn't work like that, you know? That's like if I, you know, someone would one-on-one my freaking, you know, Terror Incarnate, and I'd be like, effect, like, no, no, no. You know, but the only difference is that since this goes into an extra... to the extra deck when it's, you know, spun off the field, but, like, for Castel, uh, you know, that's still a revealable spot location to where it can activate its effect, so... If Castell would be like, Castell effect, put uh, this card back to the extra deck, you can still go, alright, activate the effect in the extra deck to turn material. Same thing with uh, Absolute Zero, but with Terra Incarnate going back to the deck and shuffled, it's uh, it's in the deck, it's shuffled, it's gone. Like, you can't activate something that's in the deck and gone like that. Like, you know, touching stuff in the deck, that's like a really obscure place, so no, Terra can't go off in someone else's nightmare. But this can, this can, if, it's, if it goes back to extra deck, by any means like that, you even compulse it back to the extra deck, it will summon the materials back, you know. So, you summon this, you wipe all the cards in your opponent's side of the field, they chain compulse, this card is, you know. So, you summon this. You're going to activate your effect to wipe everything, they're going to chain compulse. Chain resolve backwards, compulse, you go back to the extra deck, you wipe your opponent's field, then this card will go off, it left the field, summon the extra materials back from the graveyard, and then make it again. Like, ah, you did, like, nothing. Or, you know, for, say, if you have, like, two next deck and your opponent hits you at that bottom, you can wipe the field and summon the materials back to make another one. So, yep. Or what coins are, whatever you want to make. So, uh, overall opinion, it's not terrible, but... It's just Quasar is just so tempting. I mean, that 4,000, that double attacking, that shooting star, that negate, you know, pretty much everything. I mean, we already know how powerful just, you know, negating monsters are. And this really doesn't have any of that. So, you know, the the, the field wiper, that's cool. The the protecting black wings from battle by card once per turn. I mean, it's kind of a copy-paste, but that's not too terrible. And, you know, when it leaves the field, goes ahead and summons materials back. That's cool now, but... I don't know, maybe I expected to get, like, a little bit stronger. I believe the one in the anime, uh, I can't remember. It's been a while since Crow has dueled, let alone played that card. But, uh, I believe it, like, gained attack equal to the amount of Blackwing monsters in the graveyard or something. And I think it was, like, 3,000 and gained a whole bunch of attack. It, it, I, I, I remember it was 3,000, and I know it gained attack because it got over Ultimate Falcon. So, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> But outside of that, I can't really remember what it did, and I'm hoping that we will go ahead and get to see that soon, hopefully, and maybe Illusion, or... What's the pack after that? I think it's like Invasion of Venom, I think it's the pack after uh, Dark Illusion, so I guess, well, I guess we'll see. Anyway, before we go ahead and end this, I kind of want to get, like, the opinion of the person uh, that created the card, so we're going to go ahead and read up what they uh, typed, and you guys can go ahead and tell me in the comment section below what you guys think of it. So, uh, the person said... Uh, I had a lot of fun making this card. The original name was going to be Assault Blackwing Dex the Devastating Hurricane. Uh, but alas, there was already a Blackwing monster with the name uh, Blackwing uh, Hurricane the Tornado. Okay. But that... Oh, they changed its name Typhoon instead of Hurricane. I mean, Alright, I guess. Uh, now you may be wondering, how do you get this bad boy on the field? Uh, as it's not out in the TCG, I understand the question. Fortunately, in OCG, there's a card named Assault Blackwing uh, Chidori the Lightning Rain. Alright, and when it's Synchro Summon with Black Wings, it becomes a tuner. You know, so similar to uh, Sohaya Chidori also becomes a tuner. So I guess you could call Dez the card that works with OCG only for the time being. Alright, a uh, reason behind destroying all cards in your post, I feel, is because, well, it really isn't a powerful effect as it used to be. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we have fucking Exiton banned. Like, destroying shit on the field, I, dep I guess it depends on the accessibility, is probably the reason why at the time banned is because it's so accessible, because in that same argument, you could be like, well, then Black Rose should be banned, but Black Rose was limited to one at one point, so, you know, but, you know, it, it's a very, very powerful effect, like, saying that is like saying that JD ain't powerful, and if you don't think JD's powerful, you can eat a dick, sir, so, uh, uh with changeable monster effects on your opponent's turn being more prevalent than ever, the effect really only serves as a nice bonus when it goes off, not necessarily a huge game changer. Wiping your entire and your opponent's eye field, hitting them with that regeki and that harpy's feather duster is not a huge game changer. Like the tradable monster effects, I mean, I get it. Evidence doesn't have to absence of evidence, and sure, if you get effect veil, you're not going to go off. But still, like the, the chances of you getting this off and wiping everything, that's power. 
Uh, Valkyrie Monster not being able to destroy it once per turn is probably my favorite aspect of the card, besides the art. It's fucking the only one, like, I, I, he could pass for a Blackwing with ease, so, alright. Uh, while not easily dispatched, this monster can go down with some planning by your opponent by malefic effects that destroy. Uh, because the once, because once the effect is protect, this card is used up. There's no stopping it from leaving the field. Which brings to the third effect: the ability to get back materials used for a synchro summon is huge and will create tons of board advantage for you. I'm also considering toning this effect down, but with the lack of showing of showing a black wings, what? I think it fits nicely as a game finishing effect unless your opponent can deal with it. One on one. 101 done. <laughs> I know 101 is not as popular, but you know, there's actually some jobs where 101 handles it better than Castell, and that's, that's, that's one of them. So, uh, once again, just a, a fan of Blackwing making more Blackwing cards, I mean, more power to you, which is, I'm, I'm getting kind of sick of them. So, the good thing is, we get to go ahead and stop away, uh, step away from Blackwing, so there are a ton of new cards that came out to review. Uh, I got a couple of fake cards sent to me, so we're going to go ahead and be looking at those for the next couple of weeks or so. So, we got a lot of things planned on the channel, a lot of things planned. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about Assault Blackwing, Drez, the Devastating Typhoon, also known as Beelzeman. And tell me what you guys think about Beelzeman. I mean, it, it's probably, he's probably my second, second favorite Digimon. He really is. Uh, right under Megidramon. Just badass. Like, the motorcycle, badass. The wings, badass. The whole fight between my two favorite Digimon, badass. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.